It's spooky season and we're kicking off the month with 10 of my favorite Halloween films. Adam's Family Values is a great option if you're squeamish about gore. It's funny and zany. Raul Julia is amazing alongside Angelica Houston, and Wednesday's Thanksgiving speech is iconic. No matter how old I get, The Great Pumpkin is a must-watch for me. It's a wholesome Halloween option and I'm a fan of the old-school animation. In my opinion, Beetlejuice is one of the most unique and wacky films made about a haunted house. I was an aspiring goth when I was a teen, so Lydia really appealed to me. Of course, I need to include the beloved The Nightmare Before Christmas, a cult classic. This hardly needs an explanation for why it's on my list. There's just no, there's just no other film like it. The Cabin in the Woods is one of my fave films no matter the season. The concept is fascinating, and in typical Joss Whedon fashion, he puts a spin on the story. Bram Stoker's Dracula offers a noble and romantic version of the legendary Bloodsucker. I'm especially impressed by Gary Oldman's performance. The film feels gothic and timeless. Let the Right One In is a film that balances a new relationship and genuine horror. I found it to be intelligent and beautifully made. Anne Rice's famous story with a star-studded cast is one I revisit now and then. Some say the book is better, but I still think this movie isn't so bad. One of two zombie films on this list, I was blown away by how good this film was. I think this was the first time I've ever rooted for a zombie, and the ending surprised me. Blood Quantum's plot is based on the interesting concept that only non-natives can turn into zombies. It features a predominantly native cast, including one of my favorite actors, Michael, Michael Gray Eyes. It's not the best zombie film I've ever seen, but it's enjoyable and I think you should watch it. That's my list. I hope to see what the lights on tonight.